We've been talking a lot lately about how the Kar Jenners are losing their influence and no one's really that interested in them anymore. Ever since that became a whole conversation, it feels like Kris Jenner has been working overtime to get people talking about them again. There's been so much controversy with them when it comes to their new show and how boring it is. And then to top it all off, Kendall Jenner just did this interview that left a lot of people rolling their eyes. It's a mess, so let's get into it. Let's start off with a new episode of The Kardashians. We're already five episodes into this new season, and I feel like by this point, we should have already had a pretty exciting storyline to follow, packed with drama and real life stuff, but so far, it's felt extremely boring. The last four episodes have been centered around Kim and her fashion show with Dolce & Cabana. Back in September, Kim was invited by the fashion house to curate the spring 2023 show. We are here in Milan at the Dolce & Gabbana offices, prepping for the Kim Dolce & Gabbana show. We're doing fittings and everything's kind of crazy here in the showroom right now. I will say, this was actually a pretty big moment for her. For a while now, the narrative has been that Kanye was the one always behind Kim's looks and she wouldn't know anything without him. And Kim wanted to prove that narrative wrong. Over these past four episodes, we saw the build up to the show, the planning that went into it, and we also saw all the drama that the show created. I personally feel like this whole storyline could have fit into one episode, but they decided to stretch it and keep people coming back with this whole Kim versus Courtney drama. You see, what happened was just four months earlier, Courtney got married to Travis Barker and their wedding was hosted by Dolce. They not only dressed Courtney and Travis for their wedding, but they also dressed all the Jenners and their kids. Then, four months later, Dolce & Gabbana asked Kim to collab with them on their spring 2023 show. Originally, they were supposed to do a Skims collab, but the timeline wasn't really working out, so they asked Kim to be the creator-director behind the show, giving her say on what the models would wear. Kim talked about how big of a moment this was for her after years of people crediting her fashion choices to Kanye. She said that she wanted to prove that she could do this all on her own and it was apparently a make or break for her career. But Courtney wasn't exactly happy about this. It was only four months after her wedding was hosted by the brand and she kind of felt like Kim was stealing her moment for a check. In the last episode, Courtney was talking to Kendall about how Kim never asked her about it and only told her about the idea once everything was already a done deal. It was my actual wedding. The year your sister got married, you then made a deal mm -hmm. to do this fashion show. Don't do it the same year that comes out four months later. It's not like I did their campaign and then she did the campaign right after. Mm -hmm. Like, who cares? That's mm -hmm. business. It's my actual wedding. And that wasn't a business deal for me. In a group chat, Chris asked the sisters to promote Kim's show, and Courtney refused. She didn't go to Milan to support Kim during the show, and it left a huge rift between Kim and Courtney. Now, in this week's episode, Courtney accused Kim of heavily taking inspiration from her wedding and pretty much ripping off the whole 90s vibe that she had and just applying it to her own show. Of course, we didn't actually get to see Kim and Courtney sit down and talk things out in this episode. I'm guessing they're gonna try and stretch this drama out for the rest of the season since there's literally nothing else happening. People online have been reacting to the drama and there seems to be a lot of mixed opinions. We have the people who think Courtney has every right to be upset and think Kim is mean and doesn't even try to see things from Courtney's side. I don't know, but I'm living for this new Courtney who is slowly dissociating from the Kardashian brand. Love how she is just doing her thing now. I thought this was weird the second it was announced. Like, bro, Courtney just had her wedding with them. Other people are seeing Kim's side coming from the point of view of this is Kim's dream and Courtney should just be happy for her. Writing, Court wanted to be a mom. She didn't want to work. She wanted to raise her kids. Kim put effort into becoming a brand for herself. It's that simple. I don't think anyone should pass up opportunities like that but she should have went about it more respectful. Being in the fashion industry the way Kim is now was always her dream. Turning this down was not an option. I do think four months is a little bit too close and I can totally understand why Courtney was upset, but I can't help but feel like this drama was all contrived for the show. It was literally dragged out over multiple episodes now and people are so over it. 
One person wrote, this episode was so boring, I couldn't even finish it. Same topic, same conversation. It's like, what's the point of a new show? It really is the most boring, petty drama, and judging by the trailer we got at the start of the season, it sounds like this is the main event, so I don't think we can be expecting anything else to really happen. Moving on, let's talk about Kendall Jenner. Kendall has hardly been in this season of the Kardashians, so there's not really much to talk about there, but she did do an interview recently, and she's getting dragged over it. Kendall is on the cover of the Wall Street Journal this month, and the headline for this cover reads, How Kendall Jenner Wants to Ditch the Nepo Baby Playbook. This supermodel, who says that she's fell out of place at times in her famous family, is making a name for herself as an entrepreneur. And that headline is just not sitting right with people. Every single year, it feels like Kendall comes out and pretty much says the same thing. She doesn't feel like a Kardashian, she doesn't relate to the Kardashians, and everyone always has the same reaction. Every six months, Kendall Jenner feels the need to remind us that she's not like the rest of the Kar Jenner clan, and I'm so tired of it. We are tired. How is she not tired? And don't get me started on the title of this Wall Street Journal article. You can't claim you're ditching the Nepo Baby playbook while simultaneously giving us Nepo Baby mediocre modeling work. We get it. We do not need a semi-annual reminder that you're not like the rest of the Car Jenner clans and that you like horses and not makeup. I don't think Nepo Babies realize that they are literally the reason why we are still having the Nepo Baby conversation. Nepo Babies think they're reclaiming the phrase Nepo Babies, but they're really not. They're not a part of the conversation. The only conversation they need to be a part of is claiming their mediocrity because of their nepotism. And things just get worse as you read on. In one part of the interview, Kendall says, I obviously understand I fall under the umbrella of the Kardashian sisters. It's just weird to me because I am just like my dad in so many ways. I'm such a Jenner in my opinion. Marc Jacobs also was quoted for the interview and he's backing Kendall on not being like the Kardashians. He said, She was Kendall. She wasn't Kendall Jenner. She wasn't Kim's little sister. I said, if she fits in the clothes and looks good in the clothes and walks beautifully, I don't see why she shouldn't be in the cast. If you're only interested in her because she's Kendall Jenner, I'm not into it. Which is just so not true. There are so many girls out there who fit into the clothes, look good in the clothes, and are super talented in what they do, and most of them get passed over and never get their break, and the ones that do never get paid nearly as high as Kendall does or book as many shows as she does. Every year, Kendall talks about how hard it was to make a name for herself as a model with a famous last name, and how these models didn't take her seriously, and it's like, of course they didn't. A lot of these people came from nothing and worked their whole life for their big break. Kendall got to where she is because she's a Kar Jenner, and that's just the truth. Chris was also quoted for the article, and she said, From the time she was a little girl, she seemed really definite in who she is and how she wants to do it. Chris, 67, recognized her daughter's interest in modeling as a young teen, so she arranged a meeting between Jenner and Victoria's Secret photographer Russell James. The meeting resulted in a shoot for Miss Vogue Australia. A normal person couldn't just call up a Victoria's Secret photographer and then get her to shoot for Vogue Australia. Kendall got to where she is today because of her family's name, not because she's the most talented runway model that ever walked. Kendall went on to say that she was born into this life and she wasn't built for it. She said that she's not good at it, but she learned how to do it. Obviously, this cover is getting a ton of backlash with people writing, I don't know why it's so hard for Nepo kids to just be like, yeah, right, I am one. And I don't try to take it for granted, and I'm thankful for my family. She literally tries so hard to distance herself from their name until it's time to profit off it. Of course, if you have the privilege to have connections, you should 100% use it to your advantage. But the problem is, they never own up to it and act self-made. I think people would have so much more respect for Nepo babies if they actually acknowledged that their family name got them to where they are today. Coming out with an article every year about how you dropped your Jenner name and how hard it is to be famous doesn't really do it for people. Anyways guys, let me know what you think about everything down below. Are you guys even bothering watching the Kardashians this season? And if you are, how bored are you? Also, let me know what you think about Kendall Jenner and her interview. Do you understand where she's coming from or do you think she needs to just stop? 
let me know and I'll see you next time.